Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful kings and queens and viewers across the world wide web. This is Tune215. And we are currently on Stenton Ave and Johnson Street. I'm gonna make this right on Johnson Street. We're gonna be doing a tour of the Stenton neighborhood in upper North Philadelphia. You could say it's like on the northwestern part of Philadelphia. It's a beautiful day. It's about like a 70, 72 degree spring-like day. The sun is out, shining bright. The Stenton neighborhood is bordered by Sheltonham Ave to the north, Stenton Ave to the south. Then we have Ivy Hill Road to the west. And then we have East Walnut Lane to the east. So let me cross this road real quick. Be careful, make sure nobody's coming. You guys see beautiful green lawns. Nice looking two story homes, kind of like two and a half story because there might be a hidden attic up there. I'm traveling eight miles an hour. I got a vehicle behind me. I'm trying to travel as slow as I can while still retaining the patience of the driver that's behind me. We're now at Johnson and Rodney Street. Crossing over to the 1600 block of Johnson. The homes have colorful bricks, black, dark red, light red, nice brick pointing. Still seems to be like the original brick pointing. Shingles on the awning, shingles on the roof. They got side grassy areas, front grassy lawns, steps are raised. Right, we got a cemetery in front of us. Now I can go right or I can go left. We can't keep going straight. It cuts off at Seanham Ave, but since the cemetery is in front of us, that's actually gonna make us take a detour. So I'm gonna make this left-hand turn, and then we are going to make another left over here at Barringer. These houses have back alleys. They're wide enough to um, hold a driveway. So each house, I believe, has a driveway place to park out back and a garage. Some of them have back decks too. We're gonna make this left-hand turn on the 1600 block of East Barringer. This is a two lane street. It's kind of slim though. These are two story houses. They all seem to have the same style of facade with a few exceptions of maybe like different shingle colors, maybe different storm doors, different colors of the doors. I see some of them have the big stones, those large stones. Wow, look at, check check this out. You got a USPS and it looks like you got like an Amazon driver right here. Yeah, you definitely did have an Amazon driver. <laughs> That's crazy, right? You got two postal services passing each other. You won't see that often in history. You saw it first here on Tune 215. <laughs> He's stitching the park. All right, I'm about to go around him. I gotta be careful though, because the cars come from both sides. We're now crossing over to the 1500 block of Barringer. There's plenty of parking, probably because people are still at work. It is currently 3.38 p.m. Easter Standard Time. I see two flights of steps. I see the initial flight of steps that's off of the sidewalk. And then I see another flight of steps in front of the household. They have little cement walkways. The grass is starting to get greener. You know, they say the grass is greener on the other side. Well, the grass is greener on Barringer Street. <laughs> the 1500 block of East Barringer Street. We're gonna cross over to the 1400 block of Barringer Street. Now these houses have that stone, the bigger stone. The stone on the last two blocks was up to like the basement. And then the rest of the house was bricks. On this block, on the left side at least, the stone is up to like the first floor and then there's bricks up to the second to the roof. So, and on the right, it seems to be all bricks. And then the first floor looks like it has some 
some um, large cement slabs, but it's not that that river stone that comes from the river. All right, we're back on Stanton Ave. You guys want me to show you this little, I'm sure that this little, uh, let me make a left here, because I'm sure that this little commercial strip where there's plenty of businesses will uh, hold some value to people who shop here and or used to shop here. You got Juju Thrift, you got Chinese American Restaurant, Stenton Supermarket, Young Deli. Passing Johnson Street, we're on Stenton Ave and Johnson Street. We got Dollar World on my right, Kids R Us on my right. Optima Vision Center, The Cave, Barbershop, Stenton Cleaners, more decor, and several other businesses, including CVS. We just passed Duval Street on my left, and Duval continues on my right, 1300 block of Duval. Now, we are at the intersection of Stenton Ave and Washington Lane. You got entry level nurse aid program on my right. You got Crown Chicken on my right. You got a breakfast spot on my right. Almanzar Grocery on my right and more. Wild Wings on my right. We're passing Washington Lane. We got several other businesses on my left hand side including Stenton Pizza, Kidsville, The Promenade, AutoZone. All right, we got Washington Lane right here. So we just crossed out of the Stenton neighborhood. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn. We got West Oak Lane Charter School on my left-hand side. I'm gonna go into the parking lot of West Oak Lane Charter School. And then I'm just gonna come all the way around just so we can stay in the Stenton neighborhood because we passed. Actually, we didn't pass wall in that lane, did we? No, we actually didn't pass wall in that lane. Look at well, y'all get to see West Oak Lane Charter School. All right, let's come right back out here. We got checkers. Checkers used to be popping. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna stay over here. Stay on this end. The Stetton neighborhood is considerably big. And it's in a nice grid format, meaning there's not too many uh, roundabouts, like on the corners. Some neighborhoods is not too well defined. This neighborhood actually is pretty well defined and it's in a nice grid format. So we can actually zigzag through the area. I don't know why in the world I thought that we passed Walnut Lane, which is the the border. I guess I saw another W after Washington Lane and my mind automatically registered it as Walnut Lane. My mistake, y'all. <laughs> All right, so now we're on Washington Lane. Passing VIP nail salon. We got an auto zone, number one Chinese restaurant. Mansfield Ave. Let's see if we take this straight down to Shelton We're at Washington Lane and Mansfield Ave. We just passed Mansfield Ave. I got a vehicle behind me traveling. A RAV4. Alright, we just hit this red light so they have to slow down. We're doing 21 miles an hour. The speed limit is 30. On some blocks, I can't really drive slow. We're at Rodney Street and Washington Lane. The reason why sometimes I emphasize or I began emphasizing the miles per hour I was going on streets and who's behind me is because on many tours, people wish I would drive slower, but I can't always drive slower when there's a whole line of traffic behind me. These trees are large. They provide a lot of shade in the summer, I imagine. Once they you know, bloom and all the leaves come out, you have plenty of shade. You got Shelton Hill Cemetery on my left-hand side. Passing Lober Ave. That's that cemetery that blocked us off earlier. We're now approaching Woolston Ave. Woolston. Let me make this left hand turn and get off of this road because this female behind me is in a rush. And yeah, that was that RAV4. 
and maybe we could continue where remember we got um detour maybe we could continue where the detour was at because the cemetery kind of cut us off we got colorado tags on my right this is a huge cemetery on my left hand side Now approaching Johnson Street. Let's make this right on Johnson Street. We're on Johnson and Woolston Ave. See how far we can take Johnson up before we hit Shuttingham Ave. Wow, the vehicle behind me came quite fast. Passing Rugby Street. They barely even stopped that at the corner. They just whipped around it. Passing Gilbert Street. Thoron Ave, Johnson Street and Thoron Ave. I'm gonna cross over. Just past Thoron Ave, the 7400 block of Thoron Ave. The vehicle behind me did not stop and let people go by. So they're in a rush. Yeah, as you can tell the way they flew by me, they're in a rush. They were supposed to stop at that stop sign and let one of the vehicles on my left or my right side go by. They just went straight through the stop sign. We're passing the 7400 block of Forest Ave. Now we're at Limekin Pike, and look it. They did all that rushing and get stuck at a stop sign. The irony, right? Now who's behind who? Good thing I just, I'm not in a rush, so. We got the Robert Court Apartments on my right-hand side. We're at Limekin Pike and Johnson Street. The 7500 of Limekin on my left, 7400 of Limekin on my right. I can go right, I can go left, I can go left, I can go right. We still haven't hit Shuttingham Ave. I'm gonna make this right-hand turn. Although this neighborhood on the map looks like a grid, there's a lot of things that block off, you know, the roads. There's a Human Excellence uh, Resource Center over here on my left, Early Child Care Academy and everything. We got vehicles already behind me beeping, passing Washington Lane. Now we're passing Zeroli's One Hour Cleaner and Custom Tailoring. We're passing the 1900 block of Mayland Street. I'm gonna make this right on Mohican Street because this vehicle behind me began beeping as soon as they got behind me. And now we're running to a do not enter. See how it works? It went this way for one block. I don't know what was the importance of going this way for one block. I'm gonna make this left hand turn and just, I'm just trying to work my way towards the border, which is Sheltonham, so we can get an idea of the distance between borders. Stenton Ave is in front of me, and that would be considered to my south. And Shellingham Ave is on the left of me, which would be considered to my north, well, to north. In front of me will be the east, behind me will be the west. All right, Topahawken Street. Spelled incredibly interesting. T-U-L-P-E-H-O-C-K-E-N Street. Topahawken and Thoron Ave. I'm going to make this. I can't even make a left-hand turn of Topahawken because now it goes to a do not enter. So we're back on Limekin Pike, which is <laughs> ironically where the vehicle beeped us at. It's just because I'll be trying to chill. Passing Pastoria Street, which comes out. We can't even go down it. Passing Beverly Road. I can make a right down Beverly Road, but let's see if we can make this left-hand turn. This is Walnut Lane here, perfect. We finally reached the border. So we've already reached the Stenton Ave border, which was on my right. We're right here at the Walnut Lane. This is that first mistaken turn that I made in the beginning. Well, this is where I was supposed to um, cut off from. Maybe I did see a Walnut Lane sign, and I don't know. Maybe, maybe so. Let's make this left-hand turn right here on Walnut Lane and Limekin Pike. We got St. Athanius Catholic Church on my right. Originally on my left, but I turn now, it's on my right. This is the border, guys. Passing Cedar Park Ave. Look at this old Mustang. It has the clear lenses on the taillights. They don't make those anymore. I actually had a set of those on my orange Civic back in the day, in 2003. 
2004. I got a ticket for those tail lights, even though I had the correct color bulbs, the red brake light, and you know the, the amber turn signal and everything. The cops still gave me a ticket. Right now, they're actually sought after by enthusiasts. They pay top dollar for them. I pay. We're passing Forest Ave and Walnut Lane. I paid seventy-six dollars for my set in 2003. People right now are spending four to six hundred dollars for the same exact set that I bought for seventy or, or so bucks in 2003. We're passing Old Guys Ave. Got New Almonte Mini Market on my right. We have several businesses on my left, but we're gonna take this straight up to Sheltonham Ave. I'm trying to get to the border. Passing Summers Road. Let me make this left on Summers Road. Let's see if we can work this up to Shottenham Ave. Summers Road, these houses on my right caught my eye. The ones on my left are similar. They have porches, a little awning, they are brick facades. Second floor, some of them have vinyl siding. One has a porch. The rooftops have shingles. Now we got Wooster Road. We're on Summers Road and Wooster Road. I'm gonna make this right hand turn because the block on my left is closed. We're turning right on Wooster Road. This vehicle on my left, wow, it looks like it's been spray painted. That BMW, it looks like they put paint all over it. That sucks. There's a little backstrip of garages. Let me show y'all this little backstrip of, of garages. Good th thing is there's there's vehicles coming here. So I think it's a good idea that I show you guys this little backstrip of garages. Girl, you're more than welcome to go. Ma'am, you could have waved. You could have said thank you. You you could have gave me like, like a nod. You could have given me a blink. You could have did something. She looked away. Like, I could have just kept going straight. You know what I mean? I had the majority of the block. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all this. It's a little uh, back driveway with garages on my left. And then you got the backyards on my right. Some of them have garages too. On my right, there's actually a little driveway that goes to a garage that's probably in the basement of their house. You got a little deck on my right. They tend to be like worse than the streets. And Philly got some bad streets. But these driveways be mangled all around Philly. I don't care what part of Philly you in. The driveway is always mangled for some apparent reason. Probably not all driveway because the next one on the next block looks better than this one. But all right, we're on 74th. What's the 74th half? Let's make this right. We got Briar Road right here. St. Peter's Evangelical Lutheran Church right here. Yeah, we're on 74th Avenue. So I'm gonna keep on driving straight. We're passing Briar Road. We had some interesting houses on my right. I should've went through there. Look at these houses. These houses got the big stones. You can see the front facade has the big stones. All right, we're back at Walnut Lane. So the neighbor's starting to squiggle a little bit. Definitely starting to squiggle. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Let me make this right on Walnut Lane real quick. Because Walnut Lane is the border. So we're on the borderline of the Stenton neighborhood. Big trees, lawns. Some of them got closed porches. All right, 73rd Ave to my left, Briar Road to my right. I'm gonna make this right hand turn on Briar Road. And then we'll come back around and we'll make another right. But we already came through here. Remember Wooster? Passing Wooster now. Wooster Road. Passing Wooster on Briar. Well, we was on the left hand side, we was on uh, Summers. Now we're back at 74th Ave. I'm gonna make this right hand turn right here. I'm gonna allow this gentleman to cross the street. See the 
people behind me, they weren't patient. They didn't even want me to allow him to cross the street. They went straight around me. Like, that's... They be tripping, yo. They be tripping. All right, I'm going to make this right, right here, so y'all can see this little block. Ah, oh, dang. We literally just made a right here. I'm going to make this left here, just so we don't go through the same block. Making a left on Walnut Lane, 74th Ave and Walnut Lane. Now we're on 74th Ave. We're at 75th Ave and Walnut Lane. We got Serata's grocery store on my right hand side. I'm gonna keep on going straight so y'all can see these little cribs. These cribs aren't bad. They're not bad looking. Most of this neighborhood looks pretty nice compared to other areas of Philly. Look at these stone filled houses. Look at the front. They got all those stones. Amazon Prime. I right, we're at Shuttenham Ave. This is the border. This is the border I've been trying to get to for the last five or so minutes. So Sheltonham Ave is the is is the border of the Stenton neighborhood. So if we cross Sheltonham Ave, we will no longer be in the Stenton neighborhood. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a left. We got a light here, so we gotta wait till the light turns green. Across the street, it looks like we got some apartment housing and or low income housing across the street. It looks re relatively nice. It might be a privatized um, housing strip. They got the fake shutters going on there. There's a house for sale on my left hand side. Right on Shuttenham Ave. 2100 block of Shuttenham Ave. We got Linwood Gardens on my right hand side. Linwood Gardens. We're passing Beverly Road, the 7500 block of Beverly Road. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn right here on Topahawken. I got tons of people behind me and tons of people in front of me. They're not gonna like that I'm gonna make this left-hand turn. But when you gotta go, you gotta go. All right, we're on Topahawken. Now the sun's starting to set. That's why I try to do these in the middle of the day because if I do them when the sun's setting, every time we turn one specific direction, we're always gonna have sun directly in the shot and that's gonna impede your vision. If I do these in the mid daytime from 12 to 4 p.m., the sun is directly above us. Well, it's actually about to be four now. Wow, look at that, about to be four now. So pretty soon when I start driving southbound, you guys gonna see see the sun on the right hand side of the screen causing a glare. The sun's gonna go lower and lower because it's gonna begin to set. So that's the downside about waiting, you know, to six o'clock, seven o'clock, sometimes eight o'clock to do the tour because the sun's gonna be right in the shot. So, all right, we just left the 7500 block of Topahawken. We're gonna go to the 7400 block of Topahawken. Topahawken kind of reminds me of Wingahawken. We got a Lexus on the right side that reads Miss Fly. <laughs> it must be a female, and she believes that she's fly. Look at, look at the way this block turns right here. Temple of Refuge Community Church on my right hand side. 15 mile per hour speed limit, we're doing six miles per hour. I like these houses right here on my left. They're like different colored bricks. They have little porches. They don't really got much of a grassy lawn, but they're not bad looking. I'm gonna make this right hand turn because I feel like I've been left <laughs> plenty of times. Yeah, that's 74 5. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't make a left. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. Look at this church on my right hand side. It's a nice looking little building. It's amazing how the churches look so like ancient, right? The Tower of Pentecost Church of God in Christ. It's amazing how the churches always look so like there's a word for it. Like, um, like castle like that's not the word that i was looking for but like so diabolical no they look so ar archaic no there's 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 another word we're on 75th ave and briar road 
I'm gonna make this right on 75th Ave, and then I'm gonna make this left on, on Mayland Road. If we keep going straight, we'll end up hitting Sheltonham Ave once again, but it's cool. As a matter of fact, no, we won't. Cause straight is Topahawken. So if we make a left right here on Mainland Road, we'll probably end up right back on on uh, Sheltonham Ave. This neighborhood got some squiggles. Compared to what it looks like on the map, they got a good amount of squiggles. I call these blocks squiggles. Cause look, if we go straight, watch this. And then we start to turn and squiggle to the right. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. <laughs> like, it got a lot of Gotham-like style churches. Like, I think that's the term. No, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, we right back on Sheltonham Ave, guys. And Sheltonham Ave is considerably a busy road. Especially at this time of the day. It's about to be rush hour. So it's going to be like a really, really um, busy road with a lot of traffic. We're back at the border. We're back at Sheltonham Ave. We got Greenleaf at Sheltonham. It's a whole plaza right here on my left-hand side. And we got Washington Lane. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn, right? It's gonna be tricky though. Cause I got traffic coming and I got tons of traffic on my right. But if I play my cards right, I'm gonna, boom. I'm gonna go through the center. Boom, we're on Sheltonham Ave. And I'm gonna go right here on this left-hand turning lane. You got me? You see, you see how easy that was? We got Home Depot on my right, Target, ShopRite, Burlington, LA Fitness, Marshalls, Old Navy, Chipotle, Five and Below, Urgent Healthcare, and more. We're on Sheltonham Ave and Washington Lane. As you can see, this is a very busy street. We're facing northbound. Behind me, we got southbound. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn on Washington Lane. We're passing 77th Ave, driving down Washington Lane. I think I'm gonna try to take Washington Lane right back down to Stenton Ave and see if that's possible. Well, I'll probably make a right at the corner. Should I? Should I make a right? Nah, I'm gonna take it down like another block or two. Cause I don't want it to whip me right back up to Shuttingham Ave. We'll take this down and then we'll make a right on Ogon's Ave, which it cuts at an angle, so it'll probably end up taking us back to uh, Shuttingham Ave. Let me make this right right here on 75th Ave. Uptown, up here in upper North Philadelphia, like around North, Northwest. Um, see right here, there's a sign that actually reads, welcome to West Oak Lane. So you understand what I'm talking about? So this Stenton is actually right side by side with West Oak Lane. So, you know, up in upper North Philadelphia, there's there's several neighborhoods that all wrap around each other, like, like Cedar Brook too. Cedar Brook is, is right next to here too. So, kind of like a little, little trickiness. So we got Washington Lane on my left, which is next to Walnut Lane. Let's make this right. So let's make this left right here on 76 and Ogon's Ave. We got In-N-Out Pizza on my left. We got Cafe Internet on the Avenue on my right. We got several businesses here. Memorable Moments Learning Center, African American Hair Braiding, Paradise Flowers, and many other businesses. I'm gonna make this left right here on 76 Ave. It's like I was talking about in Upper um, North, this is like the few areas where there's Ave. I believe in Southwest, there's a couple Aves, but in North Philly, we don't have like 13th Ave, 14th Ave, 15th Ave. We got 13th Street, 12th Street, 11th Street, 9th Street, 6th Street, 7th Street, 16th Street. You know what I mean? 26th Street, you know? But we don't have 28th Ave, 26th Ave. In order to get to the Aves, you gotta come up to like Northwest Philly, Upper North Philly, or I, like I said, I believe Southwest Philly has Avs too, like the number Avs, like 66 Ave, like 66 and Dix Ave. I, I believe that's in Southwest, in the Elmwood neighborhood. All right, so we're gonna cross over. Let's make this right here. Let's go in this angle. We're on Fayette Street and Lime Kill Pike. I'm gonna make this left right here. I'm gonna attempt to make this left. On Cliveden Street or Cliveden Street. 
I said Cliveden. Cliveden Street. Boom. We made it. All right, cool. There's a house for sale right here on my right hand side. Oh no, it's actually a lot for sale. Manny Adams. This lot and this house looks brand new too. That's why I thought there was a house for sale. Look, I gotta block the sun with the building. But look at, you got garages, nice brick, nice little home, nice little row style home. We're on Williams Ave and Cliveden Street. We can keep going straight, we can go right, we can go left. I'm gonna keep going straight so we can get back down to Stenton Ave since we're in the Stenton neighborhood. But make note, Stenton Ave and Sheltonham Ave run through several different neighborhoods, like Ogons, like, um, what you call them, West Oak Lane, and so on, you know what I mean? Passing Forest Ave. Stanton Ave goes through, I believe, Nice Town. Yeah, so a lot of these neighborhoods share some of the same avenues. We're on Thoron Ave and Cliveden Street. I'm gonna take this, let's make this right. So y'all can see this, this little, little area of house little population of houses we had like three houses over here that were fully uh, um vinyl siding and one had stucco and they were painted the rest all look brick i don't know why those three homeowners decided to just make theirs look different i mean then again it's cool to make it look different but that aluminum that vinyl siding stuff and eh, it, it, it only it only did but so much justice and the one did stucco but i guess they own the home not not me so it doesn't matter Thoron Ave and Upsall Street. I'm gonna make this left on Thoron. I smell that ganja. <laughs> I'm gonna make this right on the 7700 block of Gilbert Street. See, this reminds me of like a Northeast block, like Northeast Philly, you know, like a Junietta block in Feltonville, you know what I mean? You know, Junietta is in Feltonville. Little bird, tweet, 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 bird. My bad, I had to tell the bird to subscribe and bird talk. But um, yeah, I'm Dr. Doolittle's baby cousin nephew. But um, yeah, so we're gonna cross over to the 7800 block of Gilbert Street. And we got lawns, we got porches. Some of them got really long porches. Like this one right here on my left, they must have scratched the lawn idea and made a porch that went straight to the sidewalk. That's a really long, like a porch. And, and then again, they still have some grass in it, but they made a nice little walkway and everything. So I'm sure that, you know, all costs extra. Not something that came with the house. Unless they bought the house with it, but the house back in the day when they were made, I'm sure that they were all made with just these grassy little lawns that you guys see. Yeah. All right, we're on Phil Elena Street and Gilbert Street. I'm gonna cross over to the 7900 block of Gilbert. Gotta be careful, this car's coming from my left. Quite fast, too. All right, we're crossing over. 7900 block of Gilbert. And it looks like a nice neighborhood. We got flat top houses here. You see how they're flat? The, the, the last ones had like, like those triangular angle or angled awning shingle tops. This has flat top roofing. I see some side um, walkways, not on all the houses, but right back there, there was like a side walkway that I guess went to the alley. We're traveling like eight miles an hour, y'all. Trying to keep it pushing. All right. At the 7900 block of Gilbert, if we cross over to the 8,000 block of Gilbert. Look at these houses right here on my right. Look how the facade changes. Look at these on my left. These on my left are solo. Those are nice. The ones that's on my left, garage and driveway and all that. Look, the ones on my right, the facade changes again. You got those big old stones. You see what I'm talking about? The stones are huge. I've seen them throughout the city. So if you watch a lot of my tours, a lot of my tours throughout the city, they use those stones, you know, as a part of the front of the house. So that's interesting. We're gonna take it probably like another block up and then we're gonna make a left. Cause I have not paid attention. We're passing the 8,000 block of Gilbert Street. 
I have not kept an eye because some of the blocks don't have street signs. I haven't kept an eye to see if we passed Ivy Hill Road yet. Ivy Hill Road is the other border. Look at these houses. These houses are, are larger, they're more spacious, they're more separated. I'm gonna make this left right here, just to be safe. There's a dog across the street. She's walking a dog, cool little doggy. What's up, doggy? Tune supports dogs. All right. I can take this down to Stenton or I can make a left here. I'm gonna make this left here. We're gonna take the street down to like 76. I'll take it down to as far as we can take it down to before it says like no outlet or something. We got side driveways, garages, walkways. It's nice. These are nice looking little suburban style homes close to the city. Where I'm located at from the city, um, remember I'm like 10 minutes from Center City. Kensington is like 10 minutes from Center City. From where I'm located at, this is like, the GPS says something like 31 minutes when I timed it and it was on, it was based on traffic, you know what I mean? But when Broad Street always has traffic because all I had to do was take Broad Street straight up. Broad Street always has traffic um, around this time of day because it's rush hour. But I like to usually get like a like a time frame duration of different times of the day. Would have said something different. Like if I would have came like in the morning hours or like the midday or at night when there's not much traffic, you might have been able to make it up here in 20 minutes, depending on how fast you drive too. Yo, look at that old school Ford tow truck. I like that. I'm gonna make this left. We got the Reformation Lutheran Church on my right hand side. What lights did Noah's Ark have? Question mark. You wanna know what's the answer? Floodlights. <laughs> the church made a joke. <laughs> that was funny. Look at this classic right here. This is hot. A Ford, what's that? A 250 tow truck. Dude, that thing is decent. Yeah, that tow truck looked decent. It had the rust, but it still looked decent with the rust and all. I made it look more official. That was like something that could be used in like a Jeepers Creepers movie or something. We got a youngster um, washing a vehicular device right here with a pressure washer. He was kind enough not to you know, continue spraying it while I was driving by. I've seen people spray while you're driving by and you get splattered and they don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so let's have a random side five, 10 minute conversation, guys. Here's a thought, right? Food for thought. We're on Rugby Street. So if you like to play rugby, you might wanna set up shop on this block right here. On the 7900 block of Rugby, we're crossing over to the 7800 block of Rugby Street. Now, let me ask you this question. You guys could be honest. Some people, the ego might, their ego, ego is like when you hold your pride too high where you won't wanna do certain things. For example, if, if you see, a hundred dollar bill in the trash your ego might say no i'm not gonna pull out the hundred dollar bill from the trash because i'm too good to be pulling out hundred dollar bills from the trash while other people might put that ego to the side and say what that's a hundred dollars give me that right whether it's from the trash or not right so this is going to be the question right we're on the 7800 block of rugby and i'm going to cross over to the 7700 block of rugby so if you got offered 10 million dollars to play a clown for one year, to wear a clown suit, to act a fool for one year, would you wear a clown suit? Or how about this? Let me rephrase this. If you got offered, let's say $1 million, right? We're gonna make this right here. Let's just make this right so we can work our way down the Stanton Ave. Uh, we're passing Woolston Ave, we're on Upside Street. The cemetery is on my left, so we're on our right path to, to Stenton. So, and what we'll do is when we get down to Stenton Ave, we'll make a right and we'll take Stenton down to see if we can find Ivy Hill Road so we can know what, what, what our little boundary is. And we're traveling 23 miles an hour, right? So check this. So would you wear a corn dog suit? Or let's say, would you wear a corn suit, right? Would you be corny, <laughs> hypothetically speaking? For one year, if they offered you a million dollars, would you run around in a corn dog suit? It's a million dollars. $500,000 up front, $500,000 when 
you know, the end of the year is done. Would you rock a corn dog suit? Would you be corny for one year? You know what I mean? Would you? I don't know about you, but I would. Where can I sign up at to get that $10 million check? You know what I mean? Passing Lober Ave. Passing Lober Ave. You know what I mean? Some people might, their pride might be too high where they say, no, no, to $10 million to wear a clown suit? Are you crazy? We're passing Rodney Street. We're traveling down Upsall. But other people might say, yo, give me that too. Like, give me, listen, listen, a clown suit for a year for $10 million? I'm, I'm Gucci. Passing Mansfield Ave. You know what I mean? Because uh, now we're at Stenton Ave. We're going to make this right at Stenton. I'm sorry, I got this vehicle behind me. I'm doing 30. If I'm doing 30, she wants to do 35. I'm gonna make this right on Stenton Ave. Now we're at the border once again. We're passing Sharp Neck Street. But instead of turning up Sharp Neck, the 900 block, I'm gonna keep driving up Stenton to see if we can see Ivy Hill Road so we know where our border's at. Passing Quarter Street, or if the R silent, is Hotter Street. Now we're passing Phil Elena Street. Right? So. We got the 18 bus on my left hand side. So after we have MT or Mount Moriah Pent Church on my right. I guess that's Pentecostal Church. Pent might be short for Pentecostal. Passing Dorset Street. And now we're passing Slocum Street. And now we're approaching Vernon Road. Yeah, so you know, I guess you know, that's that's like saying would like if I gave you we're passing Vernon Road. If I gave you a million dollars to wear a donut outfit. For a year and act like a donut, or let's or let's focus on the corn, like a corn and a cob, because I want you to be corny for one year. I want you to be as corny as you can be. Passing Gorgeous Lane, we got a church on my left hand side. Unitarian Universalist Church. I never heard of that. A Unitarian Universalist Church. <laughs> passing Dorid Street, and now we're passing Sedgwick Street. We got a pizzeria on my right. Queen Express Pizza. We got China Garden Chinese on my right. We got Stenton Laundry Mat. Passing Dunkin' Donuts. We got Stenton Beer next to Ellett Street. We got a Mini Mart, Stenton Mini Mart. Um, we got several other businesses. We got a little dental and implant business, Mount Pleasant Medical Center, Covenant, Covenant House. We got Trice Day Care Center. Now hiring, so if anybody's looking for child care employment, Trite's Daycare Center on Stenton Ave is hiring, and they're enrolling also. All right, Mount Pleasant Ave, we still have not seen Ivy Hill Road yet, passing Mount Pleasant Ave. Now we're passing Dorham Street. Yeah, so the neighborhood is pretty big, because all these blocks going right, I could keep going up and down to go to Shuttingham Ave. Passing Sydney Street. Yeah, it's a big neighborhood. Definitely, definitely a big neighborhood. Yeah, so you know, it's like actors. Actors get paid to act the fool, right? They're entertainers. They get paid to act silly. Look at Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's a fool. Jim Carrey's a cornball in a lot of his roles. Look at Liar Liar. Passing Mount Airy Ave. Look at Liar Liar. Look at Beavis and Butthead. The original role. Passing Dylan Mini Market. We got Islands Lane here. Now we're passing Wadsworth Ave. We got oral surgery on my right. These houses on my left are nice. Whoa, dude, that block was tough. And that ain't even considered Stenton Ave because it's on my left. Passing Plainfield Street. But that block had some tough houses. Nice house. It's tough as equivalent of nice. Not really like they're tough. <laughs> We're on Going Ave, Stenton Ave, Going Ave. We got Oxford Presbyterian Church on my right hand side. Yeah, but actors, you know, act the fool. You know, they act goofy. Some people don't like them. Some people like them. You know, like you got, you know, Kevin Hart. He's 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 a comedian. He's a goofball. Some of his roles are completely cheesy and goofy. But you got to do what you got to do for what? For that big check, right? So there's a moral to the story here, ladies and gentlemen. Passing McPherson. 
Now we're passing Rumford Road. All right, I think I see Ivy Hill Road. Yup, I see Ivy Hill Road, y'all. So look it, all that on my right is all Stenton neighborhood. Now we're passing Murdoch Road, and there's a lot of beautiful houses. Like Stenton neighborhood, I would, from what I see off of the back, I give it an equivalent rating of like um, like a Northeast neighborhood or like um, like the stylization almost was reminiscent of like Junietta, you know what I mean? We have Ivy Hill Road right here on the next block, but I'm gonna turn right on Woodbrook Lane. On my left is Ivy Hill Road, but I'm just gonna turn on Woodbrook Lane. And we're still in the Stenson neighborhood, guys. We got white flowers, look very nice, very nice. They got garages on my left. They got driveways on my left. They got lawns on both sides. The sidewalks aren't only cement. They're lined with grass. Really nice neighborhood. Really nice neighborhood over here in Upper North Philadelphia and North Northwest. Yep. I say Northwest because this is on the western side of Broad Street. Yeah. It's not, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, Ivy Hill Road is right here on my left because I'm still looking at it. When I got to this intersection, I see Ivy Hill Road, which is the borderline. But I'm going to turn right and I'm just going to just sporadically now. Originally, I wanted to zigzag, but there's no way... I'm gonna be able to zigzag through the Stenton neighborhood perfectly. It's gonna take two, three hours. We got Murdoch Road on my right. I'm not gonna turn on Murdoch, but Murdoch looked pretty nice. They got back driveways, back um, garages, Rumford Road. Y'all want me to turn on Rumford there too, but turn on one of these blocks on my right so we can see. All right, I'm gonna turn on Rumford. The last block looked just like Rumford. See, the thing about these blocks is they all look the same. So it doesn't matter if I go through each and every single one of them. Now, with the exception of a few, the bricks might be different, the style might be different. So it's slightly, but as you can see, this block is very uniform. A very, very uniform block, just like in Northeast. In Northeast Philly, you go through some of them blocks and they're uniform as ever. A uniform like if, like if it was a dress code, like, you know, like if you got in trouble, <laughs> if you didn't, you know, rock the same fa facade, but yeah, look, we got to share this street. The street right here, it's a two-way street, but yeah, you really got to pull over to the side and let somebody go by. We're on Rumford Road, the 900 block of Rumford Road on Stenton Avenue. I'm going to make this left on Stenton. Whoa, dude, you're out. Whoa. He was out. I'm going to make this left right here on Stenton Ave. We got Chestnut Terrace Apartments on my right. I'm going to make this left on, on McPherson Street. So these blocks are two-way. I see cars parked both ways, but look, we just went to a whole nother block and it looks the same, right? That's why sometimes I don't go through each and every single block. And as you can see, what time is it? It is 425, 426 is it? Yeah, 426. And for the most part, you see cars out, but you know, people are inside, they're eating, they're watching TV, they're probably playing video games or doing indoor activities and it's a nice day it's a 70 degree day but right now if i take the same video to north philly to like to cambria or take it to like allegheny or take it to even junietta might might be popping a, a, a take it to like frankfurt or take it to like harrogate there's people out they're sitting outside they're sitting on the steps they riding bikes they in the street they crossing the street this neighborhood is, is quite silent right about now there's nobody outside and it's a warm day, almost, you know, rush hour. It's about to be five o'clock in a half an hour. We're on Mansfield, the 8,500 block of Mansfield, and we got the 1,000 block of going after to my left, the 900 block of going after to my right. I'm gonna allow this vehicle to go. You're more than welcome to go. You're more than welcome to go. I'm gonna go left. Let's go left on going after and take this up to, to, to Sheltonham. Go ahead, go ahead, ma'am. You're more than welcome to go. Oh, psych, they April fooled me. There's a there's a, a dead end here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to make this right. Wildlife and pest human control on my right. Wow, that was that vehicle. I'm gonna make this right right here on the 8400 block of Linwood Road. It's a no outlet on my left. Wow, beautiful um shrubs. Somebody had some really nice shrubs surrounding their property. Wow, there's a house boarded up right here on my right, guys. Look at this. Boarded up, you see it? 
Wow, that is interesting. I wouldn't expect to see a boarded up home here. It said no trespassing. The garage and everything is boarded. The side, everything is boarded. The city must have came and boarded that up. Yep, because it had city signs on it and everything. So I don't know if they foreclosed on the property. Maybe, maybe, right? Maybe they foreclosed on it. Maybe they didn't uh, pay their you know, mortgage or whatever and the city, the sheriff's sale took it or something. But anyway, let's make this left on that 1,000 block of Wadsworth. Wow, and here we go again. Another little dead end. We got a cemetery on my left hand side. I saw a couple people sitting on their steps, but nothing real crazy. And then the thing is, well, let's make this right. We're on Wadsworth and Rodney. I'm gonna make this right on the 8300 block of Rodney Street. The thing is with this neighborhood is that even if you do see people sitting outside, their lawns are so huge. They're sitting on their steps, which is at the very top of the lawn. You can't really see them to the full extent and detail that you could if you go through like a little two story row home neighborhood like in North, even South Philly. South Philly got some small blocks where when you want to sit out front of your house, when you're driving by, you're looking directly at the person and the person sitting on the steps is looking directly at the driver. Yo, look at this Mustang right here, classic car, you see it? I was just um, taking a look at a Jay Leno segment. You know, he has an automotive segment. It's, it's a 5.0 too, that'd be nice if it's stick. That used to be a police car back in the day. Yeah, they used those Mustangs for police cars. I was blown away to learn that. I, yo, I was blown away. You know, they use Polaras and they use Crown Victorias and they use plenty of other cars. But a uh, Mustang? I didn't know that. Like, that was something that I just learned today, the day of this filming, of uh, filming this, this little segment here. So that goes to show you, Tune doesn't, I, I always say I, I don't know at all. You know, I'm, I'm still learning every day. I'm learning, trying to learn more than I learned yesterday. Yo, look at this. On Sydney and Rodney, look at these houses right here. In fact, I was just gonna turn right, but then the rest of the block looked boring. So <laughs> let's just take in these houses right here. See it, dude? What are you doing? Is this your driveway? Yeah, I think I actually pulled up next to somebody's driveway. What is it that is, that you're doing? Are you trying to? Am I blocking your driveway, ma'am? Yes, I was blocking her driveway. Yeah, the person behind me was about to make a right but i'm like i passed one driveway she she didn't go in i passed the second driveway she didn't go in it was the third driveway <laughs> she's like who is this fool pulling up to my property pulling up to my property yeah they got garages on my left garages on my right yeah the neighborhood's chilling man i've never i didn't grow up here i didn't hang out here so i can't tell you what it is from a residential perspective have I passed here? Yeah, I have to. If I want to travel throughout the city, you know, you got to pass certain segments of the city. But passing is different than living. You know what I mean? We're on Mount Pleasant Ave and Rodney Street. There's a park right here. There's kids playing baseball, which is refreshing considering, you know, how things have been going throughout the year. Look at on my left hand side. There's, there's several kids in the field. Yeah, they're playing baseball. That is neat. That is neat. Passing Ellet Street. That is so cool. A bunch of young brothers playing baseball. That's what's up. Get out, get some air. It's refreshing. Nice day. All right, we're on Sedgwick and Rodney Street. I'm going to make this left on Sedgwick just because it said Wick. If it didn't say Wick, if it didn't say Sedgwick, say it. Say it with me. Say that word with me. Say it out loud while you're watching this. Say it. Say Sedgwick. Zh, zh. You see how Sej Sejwick. I don't know. There's something about the way that pr pronoun the pronunciation of it, the way it rolls off my tongue. It's like hypnotizing. So I just went up Sejwick Street. <laughs> it's like Bushwick. Passing Benjamin L. Johnston Memorial Stadium, Germantown High School on my right. Um, I guess that's to keep somebody. Keep, keep the name alive, I guess, because it says Memoriam, right? M memoriam is like a memorial, right? Benjamin L. Johnston Memorial Stadium, Germantown High School Bears. Okay. We're at Sedgwick, ah, uh, Sedgwick and Woolston Ave. I like to pronounce the words. I like to print. I guess that's because I had a speech problem my whole life. And when I got older and I started getting into education for a short period, you know, I, I, I did, you know, work in a classroom environment for, for a good amount of time, for less than 10 years. And um, 
being in front of the classroom, trying to be a good example, trying to, you know, you would, you would pronounce things for the students. You would pronounce it. Yeah, there's a track right here too, a football field and a track. Wow, it looks like a good track to utilize to jog, right? On Gorgas Lane and Woolston Ave. You see how I say it? Gorgas Lane and Woolston Ave. We got for sale on my right. There's a house for sale, y'all. Right there on my right. Look at it, for sale, contact owner. I'm not gonna say their number because they might get prank calls. But it's on Gorgas Lane and Woolston. Check it out, y'all, that's nice. Um, some people watch my tours too and they say, the way you pronounce these street names, nobody in Philly pronounces them like that. But that's because that's me taking it from like an English perspective, not like me speaking like an English language, but like an English literature. Like, look at, some people might say Vernon Road, Vernon, Vernon Road. Yo, I'm on Vernon Road. But I'll pronounce it and I'll say Vernon Road. Instead of saying Wooston, Wooston. Yo, we're on Wooston Ave. I'll say we're on Wooston. Wool, because I see the word wool and I see stun and Ave is short for Avenue. So we're on Wooston Avenue. You know what I mean? That's why Sedgwick, because I said Sedgwick, that, that kind of made me giggle. You know what I mean? They'll be like, yo, tune, but you're not from Philly, dog. Like, like, and I keep hearing that, like, in every couple tours, like, in every 10 or 15 tours, yo, you're not from Philly, dog. Yo, why are you in my neighborhood? You're not from... <laughs> like, yo, bro, like, slow come, slow come. Instead of saying, slow come, slow come. What did you want me to talk? Like, slow come. Yo, 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 dog, we passing Dorset Street, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're drunk crazy, dog. Like, you're just tripping, yo, yo, drawling, dog. Like, man, dickhead, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, you, do I gotta use all the Philly lingo to prove that I'm from Philly? No, dog. Like, I'm just, you know what I mean? I say, I say, son. They're like, son, you must be from New York because you say son. Nah, but what? A Philadelphian can't say son? I bet you a New Yorker says John. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my young boy Rose Addy just went to LA and I just peeped one of his videos and he went to LA and one of the homies in LA said John. And that's in LA. Matter of fact, he was in Las Vegas. Forget LA. I think they did. I think they touched on in LA, but I think they went to go ride in Las Vegas. And the homie from Las Vegas said John. And that's a, that's to my knowledge a Philly term. So nobody, you know, I don't know. We're on Phil Elena. Let's make this left on Phil Elena. So that's just my per perspective of it. <laughs> that's that's why sometimes, or they be like tune. It's not. Um, let's say rug. B. If I say we just passed rug B, they'll write, they'll type, um, it's not rug dash B tune, it's rugby. <laughs> not only am I pronouncing it for English purposes, but I'm pronouncing it because I, you know, I have a speech impediment. Passing Gilbert. You see? Gilbert. Gilbert. I could have said Gilbert. Gilbert. Or I could be talking low, lowly. Gilbert. We, yo, <clears throat> we on Thoron Ave and Phil Leonard Street. On my left hand side, we got houses. On my right hand side, we got some houses. We're on the 7800 block of Doran Ave. Like, that's boring. Like, no, nah, like, one thing that I learned, especially public speaking class when I was in college, public speaking class was one of my favorite classes. Believe it or not, coming from somebody who stutters, that was one of my favorite classes. And um, public speaking, one of the things that I learned is you have to project your voice. Your voice is a, is, is a speaker. We're on Forest Ave. Your voice is like a, like a megaphone, you know? The way you pronounce yourself, uh, the way you pronounce your words. Let's make this right on Williams Ave. The way you, um, I don't know, you project your voice, you carry yourself verbally, you know, sets the tone. And if I'm gonna be doing <clears throat> these videos, you know, playing the job of a GPS, which is basically navigating and telling you guys what I see around me, I better speak clearly and broadly, you know what I mean? I don't even know if broad is a word. We're passing Sharp Neck Street and Williams Way. Now we're passing Weaver Street. Try saying names when you're driving in your neighborhood. I know in your head, you drive by them and you think about the name, like in your head, you, you, you're in your head say, we're passing Upsaw. You might not even say we're passing Upsaw. You just see the street Upsaw and you don't think nothing of it. But when you're in your neighborhood, try this as an experiment. I don't care what state, country, if you're in the UK, if you're in Thailand, I mean Thailand and the Philippines, if wherever you're at, start saying the names out loud. 
and see how that works out for you. We're on Cliveden and Williams Ave. Say it. Work on your pronunciation. Pronounce the words. Enunciate the syllables. And speak clearly, loudly, firmly. And see how that works out for you. Comes in handy. All right, guys. We're on Lime Kim Pike. But unfortunately, we have reached our one-hour mark. This is our small tour of the Stenton neighborhood. We by no means covered the entire Stenton neighborhood. I'm telling you. We did not cover it. We probably covered like a good 30% of it. It felt like... A much larger neighborhood than what I expected. We're passing Johnston Street. Um, there's a lot of little quirks, turns, dead ends, roundabouts, things of that nature that we did not get to today. And quite frankly, I don't know. I don't think this is going to be a neighborhood I'm going to cover often because there's not much activity. You know, I mean, it's a beautiful neighborhood as far as the housing goes. But yeah, we'll see what the future holds. But with that being said, Share any knowledge, any thoughts, any memories you have about the neighborhood in the comment section so any viewers from the World Wide Web that are watching from the other side of the globe can comment, can engage with you, can communicate and share their thoughts also and learn from you, the viewer. Turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. If your notification bell is not turned on, you will not be notified. Sharing is caring. Show some love. Share the video with a friend, family member, and or on a social network. My name is Toon, Mr. Toon Dallas. Tune two one five, and your boy is what? 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 What am I doing? Tell me! Tell me! I'm tuning out.